Hi, my name is Tammy. Welcome to Ready for Kindergarten. I'm a librarian at the County Library, and before I was a librarian, I was an elementary school teacher. So I'm glad you're here today. Today we're going to talk about rhyming. So, as kiddos get ready to learn to read and write, they start to recognize that words are made up of sounds, and this is called phonemic awareness. One way to work on this skill of phonemic awareness with your kiddos is with rhymes. Rhyming, the skill of rhyming, is learned in levels or stages. The very first level is simply rhyme exposure. So read books that have rhymes in them to your kiddos, sing songs, do nursery rhymes. You can even make up rhymes during your day and point them out to your kiddo. So that's step one. The next step or level of rhyming is rhyme recognition. And this is where your kiddo can recognize that two words actually rhyme. So if you say to your kiddo, cat, bat, do those words rhyme? Once they're learning to recognize it, they'll be able to say yes. You can also try some non-examples such as cat, car, do those words rhyme? No. So you can practice some of those skills with your kiddo. And today our activity is about that rhyme recognition. Print out the poem for you and your child to work on together. You can also just handwrite it out on a piece of paper. Totally works fine. Let your child know you're going to read a poem about apples. Point this word out to them. If they're sounding out words, help them sound out apples. If not, just help them recognize that word apples. can point out all the different times in the poem there are apples, and they'll be able to read with you. So read the poem through two or three times. Let your child help. Point to each word as you read it. Then go back to the first paragraph and see if you and your child can find the rhymes. We're just going to look at the last word. So ask your child, apples, tree. Does that rhyme? No. What about tree, me? Yes, yay. Help your child circle tree and me as our rhyming pair. Do something similar in the second verse. But apples and my, does that rhyme? What about my pie? Yes! <laughs> so grown-ups, just an interesting note, rhyming is about ending sound, not spelling. So in this case, yes, you can see they both end in E, so similar, but my and pie aren't spelled alike at all. But it's just that ending sound that we are listening for. Once you've read through the poem, found your rhyming pairs, then just have your kiddo turn the paper over and they can draw a picture of the poem on the back. So they might draw apple, apple trees themselves, pie, really doesn't matter. It's just a good practice for them to have read something and then draw how they imagine that in their head. So lots of good skills are happening here. 